Hi, I'm Shige Yoshimura in the Graduate School of Biostudies, Kyoto University. Today, I'd like to introduce a recent progress in our research project on the unique property of cellular protein structure. So our group has been studying on the intracellular traffic system of proteins and other macromolecules. All the proteins are synthesized in the cytoplasm and then delivered to the place where they function. The proteins which work in the nucleus, such as transcription factors, chromosomal proteins, and splicing factors, have to be delivered into the nucleus through a pore exists in the nuclear envelope called nuclear pore complex. The nuclear pore is a critical point of molecular traffic between the cytoplasm and nucleoplasm. So the pore itself is not an empty channel, but rather a crowded barrier made of a number of protein subunits and prevents a free diffusion of proteins. So the question to be addressed on this traffic system is how proteins go through such a crowded pore. So imagine the situation that you are in a large crowding of people. What do you think is the best behavior to move around the crowding with less stress? So in the recently published paper, we successfully demonstrated that the structural flexibility is critical in the passage through such a crowding. This is a crystal structure of importing data previously reported. It looks like a flexible spring with the number of alpha helices. These helices are all amphiphilic, which means it has both hydrophobic and hydrophilic faces on the opposite side of the cylinder. The hydrophobic surfaces are facing to each other, so that hydrophilic side, on the other hand, is facing to the molecular surface. We focus on such a unique amphiphilic structure of importing beta and perform various biochemical spectroscopic analysis as well as molecular dynamics simulation to reveal the details of conformational changes of importing beta. Now you are looking at two different conformations of importing beta. One is in water, which represents in the cytoplasm, and the other is in the molecular crowding, which represents the nuclear pore. You can see the structure of importing beta is fluctuating all the time, but only in the crowding it is being stretched. As a result of such flexibility, the molecular surface property of importing beta is easily changed from hydrophilic to hydrophobic so that it can adapt itself to the hydrophobic crowding of the pore. You probably have seen a number of crystal structures of protein. However, proteins are more or less fluctuating in liquid and also in a cell. The crystal structure that you see in the literature is just one of those thousands of conformations. Some proteins, such as importing beta, are highly flexible and it plays a critical role in passing through the molecular crowdings. Again, imagine the situation that you are in a large crowding of people. Do you push them hard and try to squeeze yourself into the crowding? Or do you become flexible and fit yourself into the environment? It is surprising that proteins change their structure to adapt themselves into various different environments. The detail of the study was reported in the following journal. I hope it is of interest to you.